We're going live over here. Chuck, pipe down. Ready? Eduardo, you were using. What is, what is the number one problem when people call with a problem? Oh, the ground's loose. <laughs> what is this? Oh my All right. Yeah. Hey, Who did this? From this side. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Uh, from the donuts. Okay. okay. And like I say, I think when I was nine, I think it was thirty percent. Whoever was a duty cycle. Thirty-eight percent duty cycle. Sixty-four hundred RPM. Sixty-six. It was revving good. Let's say there, yeah, everything yeah, was good. Still putting in thirty percent. Uh, with that, I've been welding on it. Four, four, no, they've been welding on it. Yeah, I didn't know that you take the bottom. But all you gotta do is take the bottom cable off. Oh, yeah. Injector. Uh, Instead of scratch the boost from Exactly. It. Good. Exactly. So now we can look for diff. And you have 73. Okay. So it's not 90. Right. Yeah. Actually, here went down to 60. Wow. I don't know. It's just as much. So with that we can do the math, for example, um, we can take the chart and see how big these injectors were with 73, take a look with the same pressure, the 520s, how big they are, and do a math comparison. And we are going to have, we are going to figure out the probably the difference is going to be around 30%. You can grab the map, take 30% out. It's soon.
marked on it top dead center and I marked on it 32 degrees where I want my timing set at. Okay. So do, the 32 do, degree do, do mark this. keeps jumping back and forth from my pointer. Okay, do this. Here on ignition calibration, when you click this, it's gonna be only all that thing up on, there. Okay. On this. Now we can go to custom and tell it 32. Now it's gonna stay at 32 all the time. It so it might what. idle high, but it'll stay. You at can rev it up if you want, and still it's gonna be 32. But when you are in this window. He wasn't there, and here I can increase or decrease, and it's gonna do it live. Okay, but how we does it? Need to ride how does it know it's 32 if you're punching 32 in? You're checking on the timing line. You will check it. Yeah, you're checking. You're right, but my pickup more. is not at 32. What do you mean? It, does, it, does, it's, it, okay. it compensates for it. Your top dead set, you've already put your crank angle in there. Yeah. Yes. You put oh, that so in Oh, so it there. knows. So yes. you okay, want to no, no, put, you, you, put you, Yeah, yeah, no, I got you now. I got you. Put your line on yes, 32. Yes, thank Fire you, thank up, you. I'm going to look at the 32, yeah. and then you will be able to see it there. Okay. So you should be able to see right at 32. Yep, yep, Good. yep. yep. and it's instantly so you can check it 0 <coughs> 32 or whatever degree that you want and that way you make sure that everything that is on the ECU is whatever the cool. engine is going to receive straight down it was sure down and yeah, right, right, right back into the cab yeah right back into the monster my dome yeah yeah and I had to go <coughs> down Nice. Did it sound yeah. good? Yeah. Cause it sounded like it was like lifting and shit. That thing yeah. was sounding awesome, dude. Yeah, she's ripping. I am fired up. If we're still like, imagine getting on some good dirt too. Oh my god. Go. Did you not just... hit the fucking data log? Oops. I don't know. You didn't hit it. It ain't on here. Oh my god. I don't matter. There's another pass. I guess I gotta let it cool down now. We can look at the plugs anyway. Yeah, it's at the plugs. It happens, dude. I, mean, he was, I, didn't, I okay. didn't touch it. Could I physically hold it? Yes. Do I have an option of not to? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll carry it. Okay, fucking okay. okay. <laughs> Christ, I'm not an idiot. No, you got nothing here. Sorry. So the bad part was. Nothing. The, nothing. Bad, nothing. the bad part was. So what was that? Just soot? The I, didn't hit, I didn't hit yeah. the data button, and when I did those passes, I didn't hit the bad data button. Yeah, the dumb bastard didn't hit the data. So, oh, okay. I clean it and then goes. I know. I didn't know you. Always got to tell. Always got to make me. Always got to put me when, down. When, when, when you do the same thing to me, you fuck. When it's actually temperature, you can wipe it because it's actually the temperature that took the sink out from the the chrome out from yeah. the. But from when the it's carpet. but if you go wipe it and it comes clean, that means just, that that so, is some kind of oil, maybe dirt, dust, oil. oil. Uh, I don't know. Part of it. But if you go wipe it, it's still silver. Stuff on and clean the off good enough to the inside. I'm are gonna pull, sure I'm gonna do the same thing again. You, with are you sure that you don't have any top over or some kind of? Hundred percent not. Brand, we use a brand new brand drill. new drum of M1 okay. from okay. VP, and we drain the fuel 100. percent Tank was out of the truck, so you're not leaking any any oil from your charger internally. Should push the push the pressure reset on the front of the blower. That I couldn't tell you, but 
I don't know how you see if you're pushing. leaking that. If it's pushing pressure, then but it's it not doesn't. Going. Like I okay. said, pushing, the yeah. exhaust guides have no seals. Okay. Is this exhaust? Just exhaust. The intakes do, but the exhaust but don't. But it could still be sucking reverse. some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still because I just did the valve job, it so it could be. Something. It could be pulling a because the intake guides were a little bit loose, but on the border. I just rebuilt the motor like okay. before the last show, and <clears throat> but I have seals on the intakes, no seals on the exhausts, just because they get so hot. It's like that's the way Brodex does them too. They don't do it. Okay. We've so never done seals on the exhaust. He forgot to hit the data log. I know. So okay. So he forgot to hit the data log. Do you? We just read the plug. Do you want to make another change and then we'll do it? Uh, and make sure what was it? We change it to four point five. Four five. So we want to see how much it corrected. And I thought you went to four six. No, four five. Yeah. Well, four five. Uh, it, we are getting to that point that it depends on you. How, how to the limit? Let's say you want to push it. I, yeah, I think I think that you can. Point. With that, I think you can go to four six. Yeah. I want to. I want to go to at least we see it and we back up. A okay. Bit. Perfect. Then do. I don't want to see take, a little shiny take, silver take on there. I think it's already. At four, I, think, <laughs> I think it's already at four six. I think we just put it at four six. Cause we have four five over there, and then we just launch past. That reaction thing or whatever. It's it feels like incredible right now, dude. Okay. I, yeah, he was juiced up. When way he better. Out. Like I came back fired up. I know that I could. It's way better than it was. 100. It's right better right. than when it was ever mechanical. So it's got way more power right now than it ever has. Maybe, maybe so I mean, I could leave it alone, and I would be happy. But if there's more to get, we, we I don't more. mind getting well, yeah. more. We get, we you know what I mean? I'll I'll take I will four, take seven. as much as I can get. Four, six. You want to put four seven then? Yeah, do seven. Yeah. But my thing is, like, I still want to be on the safe side because that's, there's. That's why I want to get it's the steel the safe up. side. Well, yeah, you're not yeah. even getting anything out of the plug, so yeah. technically you're so safe as it gets, seven. right? Uh, do you check the both sides, just in case? I can't. Just both both the heads side. are the same? Just yeah. Check. Just take, 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 take a couple of those. So then here are the... Honestly, for where we're at, I am stoked where we're at power-wise. I know there's more to get out of it, and I know that we can fiddle with it, and we can change cams and fuck with that shit to make better, but... Yeah, but as is, you're going to be on my As is, I, I feel power-wise, we're super competitive, I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be a monster. I'm pulling plug here now. Once she cools, or if you want to do it now. Again, it just depends... How much to the limit? Right now, it seems to be everything perfect. So it's just on you if you right, want. Right, right. Well, like you said, 30 you, more horsepower. You, yeah, 30 more horsepower isn't going to so. change the world. Right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So there's no sense in changing the world and making it burn down. If it's yeah, a World Cup issues. Finals, probably, yeah, you will need to. 
push it, but right now you don't. It's me, Jim Kohler, owner and driver of Avenger. Hey guys, Zach Garner here. How we doing, driver uh, for Team Scream, Chris Kohler. Hey, I'm Ryan Distring with the Shaker Monster Truck. I'm John Gordon, I drive the Bag Company Monster Truck, man. We're here at my family's place. Uh, we had an awesome opportunity to come together with Fuel Tech and kind of collab with them and do uh, off campus, so to say, fuel tech class where we were able to run the trucks in the field. We were told we need to go fuel injection to make the air quality and stuff better at the shows that we're doing, trying to make it better for the environment. I was hesitant, totally whacked out about it, scared to death. EFI is kind of a scary thing. A lot of people don't want to go to that. They want to use the manual fuel injection. It's reliable, it works well, but fuel tech does too. I'm not a professional tuner, by no means. I'm not a computer guy, never was, old school. Before we came out here, I had no clue what we were doing, what I was looking at, nothing. Barely knew how to start and run the truck. But after getting this class yeah. and learning everything there is to learn, I mean, I feel like I can tune my own truck. I feel like I can make the changes I need to make at a higher elevation or at a different track. I know now that I can take my truck, tune it, figure out what it's doing, understand my engine because I had the training. Got on board with Fuel Tech. Those dudes rock, dude. They hooked us up. They showed us what to do. They told us how to do it. We start dialing this thing and I'm finding more power, crazier stuff. The truck is super aggressive. We went through everything. We did the whole learning how everything works, kind of learning about the strokes of a motor, everything just from timing all the way to the online computer system. Then we even took the trucks out to the track. After this week, we figured out how to make a base tune actually learn how to map the truck and actually got to run it and see the data logs in person. Doing the hands-on training and actually taking the class and the education that you get from these guys is second to none. I just can't brag enough on how well their customer support is. Fuel Tech's been the greatest customer service, the greatest support so far that we could ever ask for. It's been absolutely unreal. I can't thank Eduardo and all the guys for coming out here. Fuel Tech's been absolutely amazing with the customer support and everything else. 2024 is gonna be wild for us. We're gonna take those guys down Fuel Tech's gonna lead the way. Customer support is top notch. We are rocking this place. Fuel Tech's gonna rock it for us. Yes, sir.